Now this is my BMW F15 X5 4D, also known as a plug-in hybrid for those who are laymen and of course those who are following my channel, you will obviously know this car. And that is my BMW i Wallbox, also known as Wall Charger, also known as the EVSE. Now in today's video episode, I'm going to talk about this. So in this video, I'm going to educate you guys for those who have this installed at your home or you have a neighbor who installed this charging box here. Actually, the correct terminology will be the EVSE, but it's too complicated. We just call it wall charger, well, to keep it simple for the layman. Now, if you have this wall box installed here in your home at this position, you might want to reconsider removing it completely. No, I'm not saying you can throw it away, but reposition it. Even though you don't have this installed at home, but your neighbor has it, tell them to relocate it to another position. Here's why. Now, for those who don't know and don't follow my channel, a couple of weeks ago, I have my isolator burn. So there's a wiring melted inside there. Of course, I got it fixed. And that result into my car charging system burn. So I got to replace it. Otherwise, I'm unable to charge my plug-in hybrid. It still drive, but I'm not able to charge it like I used to. But today I'm not talking about this car. I'm going to talk about the charging station. Now in today's video, I'm going to give you a suggestion where to install this and why you should relocate it, which I'm going to do it to my house as well. So you may ask, hey, I don't have this. Why should I care? Now for those who are watching this video and don't have this installed, you may want to consider continue watching this video because your neighbor might have it. And you may need to tell them to watch this video so that they will repurpose it to another location. Here's why. Now the question is, why should you remove this to another location? Is it a fire hazard? Not so much on this. The fire hazard is this car. Not this. It's this. Because this has a lithium-ion battery inside it. Not this. So that's the reason why you should reconsider repurposing this box to another location which is not directly connected to your home. What I mean by not connected to your home is you connect it to this location. So because I'm staying in a terrace link house, the furthest I can install my wall box will be likely at this space. This is my post box or also it could be the other end. So this is the furthest I could install away from my home. Now if you own a bigger house which has a bigger land such as a semi bungalow or even you own a property which reside in a orchard farm, then you have multiple locations where you can install a wall box further away from where your family and yourself is sleeping. Now, to be honest with you, this is not my idea. I seen it in one of the client's house about six to eight months ago. He installed his wall box almost towards the edge of his house, next to the letterbox. So to me, it's why you want to charge your electric car or your expensive car outside of the house. So that time, I didn't cross my mind. But of course, now, after some deep thought, I understand why he decided to put a wall box outside here. And obviously there is cases where the EV cars or plug-in hybrid caught fire or self-combust, either during charging or idle. So it's highly recommended to install your wall box as far as possible from your home, either at this corner or that corner right there. So if there's any fire issues, at least your car is outside, you won't take your home down together with you. That is my suggestion. This video is more like a community update. I'm telling you guys, based on my experience, is prevention is better than cure. Remove this and install it somewhere else. If you must have an electric car, I know you say there's very low risk of fire or very low risk of self-combustion. But if it does, it will take your home together with your car. So might as well we avoid this at all costs. Relocate it right outside. If it does catch fire, it won't affect your family. That's very important. If your neighbor have it and you don't have it, I believe you should advise them or ask them to watch this video. So that's all I got for you guys today and you find this video informative, please give this video a thumbs up and if you like my content, do subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.